you guys, welcome to a tutorial on how to detect the browser using JavaScript. Here are four different ways of using JavaScript to detect the type of browser, why they are unreliable and what you should be doing instead. Let's get on to the first method, reading data from the user agent. For you guys who have not heard of it, the user agent is simply a string that contains various information about the browser and operating system itself. In JavaScript, we can access the user agent via navigator.useragent. How we use it to detect the browser is to simply check for the existence of certain keywords. For example, to check for Google Chrome, the word Chrome must be present in the user agent. For Firefox, Firefox must be present. To check for Android devices, the word Android must be present, and so on. While this method is simple, it is also rather inaccurate. The user agent has become a mess over the years of browser wars, and as you can see, the keyword Safari also somehow exists in Google Chrome, because of some historical reasons. So the next best way to detect browsers is to simply use a detection library. While there are many libraries on the internet, I personally prefer to use one called Bowser. Bowser uses the same strategy of reading the user agent, but it does a lot more checks and is slightly more accurate. However, take note that the user agent can be easily faked or removed using plugins. If the user hides the user agent, there is really nothing we can do nor use it to detect the browser anymore. So in such cases, we can resort to this third method, detecting the CSS prefix. For you guys who are new again, every browser uses a different technology and rendering engine. Some may have their own experimental features that is not standard, and thus a prefix is appended to the CSS property to indicate as such. Chrome, Safari and Opera uses the WebKit prefix. Firefox uses the MOS prefix. Microsoft uses the MS prefix, and the older versions of Opera uses the O prefix. Credits to David Welsh for this snippet. To check for the CSS prefix, we simply get a computed style on window load, then match it against MOS, WebKit, or MS. But as you have noticed, Chrome, Safari, and Opera all uses the same WebKit prefix. There is no way to tell them apart. Also, take note that Opera used to have their own O prefix before. But ever since they adopted Chromium, the same technology behind Google Chrome, they have also switched to WebKit as well. 
So yes, CSS prefixes can change over time. As at the time of this video, the new version of Edge is also based on Chromium. While they still retain the MS prefix, there is a possibility that they may switch to WebKit as well. In any case, the CSS prefix can only vaguely tell which browser it is. So here comes the final method of detection called duck typing. Basically, identifying the browser by their unique features and quirks. For example, window.opr and window.opera is unique to Opera browsers only. Window.chrome is unique to Chrome browsers only. Document mode is a feature that is available in the old Internet Explorer only, and so on. This should be pretty straightforward, but as you can see, keeping up with updating the list of quirks in the future is not going to be an easy task. None of the four methods are reliable by any means. So if you are trying to detect the browser for the compatibility, you really should be detecting the features instead. I will recommend using a library called Modernizer. For example, if we need to get the user's physical location, we check if the geolocation API is available. If we need to store some data on the user's device, we check if the local storage is available. With that, we build and download the custom library. Simply include the downloaded script into yours, then do the checks. I hope this makes more sense. Rather than trying to detect which browser and version one by one, a couple check on the required feature itself is simply more efficient. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. I hope it has helped you. Please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more and see you in the next one.